Hello, Transformers. Welcome. Happy holidays. <laughs> uh, today's video is about the 12 actor actions that you can take for the holidays to improve your acting career. And off we go. So 12 actor actions. Why would you want to do anything in the holidays, right? <laughs> uh, it's very important to know that the year isn't over yet. And it's a time of year that a lot of people kind of zone out. But actions are really everything. They're everything. And your career can't move forward unless you're taking actions. So at this time of year, your competition during the holidays usually zones out like mid-November. And I don't want that to be you because there's a lot of great work that can be done this time of year. And some things are very specifically only this time of year. So here are 12 actor actions that you can do to make use of this time to get you ready and cranking in the new year right away. Action number one, you want to review your year. And I know that might seem like a no brainer, but it's so easy to go into the new year and make it look like the year that we just had, right? So when you review your year, you get to look back on it and see how far you've come. And a lot of actors don't do that. They don't even realize how wonderful all the victories that they've had. So what you want to do is you want to start documenting it. So what that might look like is how many auditions did you have? How many callbacks? How many bookings? How many meetings? Maybe you had anything from a Starbucks meeting with a friend to an agent meeting or a pitch session or a meeting with a director, whatever. You want to write them down. Uh, classes, it all counts. So if you went to, if you have a monthly class that you love and that you go to every single month, you want to make sure that you realize that you could have easily not gone to that class, but you did. You took the effort to go, and that is a victory. On new relationships, do you know more actors now than you did at January 1st of last year? Do you know more um, casting directors? Have you been called in for more auditions? So you, then you know more directors, producers. Write it all down. And this is an interesting one that is good this time of year when you monitor your social media stats you get to kind of see what's working and what's not working it's not about obsessing over how many views or likes you have and things like that but if you only document it even just once a year you can see oh i didn't even think that my social media profiles were getting enough action or whatever on them but you know what yeah i did okay Maybe you got 500 new subscribers this year or a thousand new followers on Instagram or whatever, but write it down on December 31st or at the beginning of January 1st, because then you can say, okay, maybe you can hit a new goal this year. Maybe you get a social media manager. Maybe you just start learning more about your preferred platforms. Um, because all of them have their own rules, their own quirks, their own personality, their own vibe, their own audience. So if you want to become an expert at, say, Instagram or YouTube or Facebook or Twitter, then that looking at your stats is going to really help you to move forward with that. And then maybe that will help you set your goals as well. Okay, action number two. Once you get these together, you're going to want to share these wins. <laughs> you don't keep them to yourself. I know that so many wonderful actors are afraid of bragging or, or seeming, um, I don't know, just feeling like, uh, you know, maybe sometimes when you look at other actors online where you feel like they're always talking about themselves, that's not what it is. It's sh you have to share your wins. So first of all, you acknowledge them. So you realize that every audition really is a victory just to even get in the door that you've already won, you know, um, but how to tell people, people want to work with people who work. 
So if you keep all your wins hidden, then you're going to stay small in your career for a long time. But if you tell people your victories, if you tell people that you met, you know, you got to know 10 more casting directors this year, and maybe you even thank them, or you have all kinds of new groups that you're a part of, whatever, share your wins, because then more wins will come your way. So how that might look is you can do a year end summary of all the stats that we just talked about. You could do a newsletter. I'm a high believer that all actors should have a newsletter of their own. Um, even if you only do it quarterly or even just during the holidays, that's still better than nothing. So collecting the emails that you have and then letting them know your wins for the year. Uh, even the most, <laughs> even the person out there who you think like maybe they don't want to hear from you. Still, if it's only once a year and you're only sending good news, then pretty much everybody will be okay with that for the most part. Um, a one sheet. If you don't know what a one sheet is, you can put all your stats and victories and maybe a headshot or a bio or whatever all on basically what it is is a flyer. Uh, so you could make a one sheet that looks Christmas holiday related and then send that out in a mailer if you want um, or just online. And social media posts, absolutely. You know, social media is everywhere. So that is the norm. That is probably the easiest way to share your wins. And then it has residual effects too. So if you share one and maybe you tag, let's say you're talking about a film you were in and you tag your director and thank your director for how wonderful the project uh, turned out, then it's not just going out to your people, but it's going out to their people too. And it's good energy. So why not? Um, so include the people that you helped. You can even do a post just about them. So showing that, oh my goodness, uh, thanks again to all the wonderful casting directors who called me in this year, or thanks again to all my accountability partner. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, Whatever it is that you feel is a win and that you can, with good energy and good vibes, put out into the world. Um, also, you can have articles. Uh, some of you have your own blog on your own website, so that's a great way to do it. YouTube videos, a great way to do it. Maybe you could do a compilation video of this year. Uh, whatever it is, just use your imagination, but getting your wins out there and just acknowledging them for yourself is probably the most important part of that. But work begets work, so you do want to let people know when you have victories. And thank you cards and gifts. That's another way to do it, of course. Say thank you for your support this year and what a year it was. I did this and that and you were a part of that, so I wanted to thank you and happy holidays. You know, very simple. Um, if you're broke, don't spend money on gifts. You don't have to at all. Um, but you could do funny and expensive gifts or you could do, um, you know, just a card is absolutely completely fine. And let's say you don't even want to do a card. You can make a virtual card <laughs> and do that for free. So there's all kinds of ways to make that happen. Okay. And definitely it can be a good time to get representation uh, just because this time of year, sometimes they have about like the week before Christmas, uh, a lot of the times people, everything slows down a little bit just for a very short window and then people are more relaxed. <laughs> so sometimes that can be a good time to get representation or get in the door. Um, if not, it's it's a perfect time to do your prep work for when you want to hit the ground running in the new year. Um, January to maybe the first two weeks-ish are a somewhat decent time because sometimes reps will pick up clients just to test them out for pilot season. Um, but then when it gets to pilot season, it's a little bit tougher. So now might be the final window for a little bit of time. So if you have any people that you wanted to follow up with, uh, any reps that you wanted to 
even just sending them a holiday card is one way to communicate with them without asking anything from them, okay? So just getting out, again, positive energy, okay? So um, one thing I do want you to do as a quick actor action right now is I want you to write down at least one win that you had in your career this year in the comments below, so below this video, okay? And the reason we do that, again, is not just, it's not to brag, but by you claiming that indeed it was a win and then you publicly announcing it, even in just this video comments, is also a victory, especially if that's hard for you. So getting it out there, putting it and claiming and saying, hey, guess what? I had an audition. This was my first audition ever, if you're newer. <laughs> or I just, I booked my first, I signed with my first agent or whatever it is, claim it below, post it below so we can see it and congratulate you, yay! And really it's, it's the purpose of it is the exercise, the exercise of acknowledging it as a win and then posting it. That has value all in its own, okay? All right, action number three, wrap up. Well, what, is that, what does even that mean? You want to wrap up your year so that next year doesn't look like this year. And even if this year was great, we want next year to be even better, right? That's how we grow, that's how we progress. So at the end of the year wrap up, you wanna tie up any loose ends, anything that address your fears or address any procrastination issues, address what went right, what went wrong, see like just where you are. And it, who knows, you might feel like, oh my gosh, this year was horrible. Well, guess what? You get a clean slate. Uh, it's a metaphorical clean slate. Nothing really happens in the world between January 3rd, I mean, uh, December 31st and January 1st, but it, we feel like it does. So take it and run with it. Say that January 1st starts a whole new you. Okay. Whatever that means. Um, so what went right, what went wrong, uh, getting a to-do list. So if you, if you're a big list maker, look at the list and you might see something on there that's on there year after year after year that you just don't do and analyze why it's on your list in the first place. Is it something that you really do wanna do? Or is it something that you need? Is it something that somebody else told you you should do, but you don't feel connected to it? So you might wanna take that and prioritize, delegate, or delete, okay? If you prioritize it, then you put that into your goals for the new year. But sometimes it's okay to just let stuff go. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't need to be there or you've changed and it, it no longer is exciting to you or no, you no longer want it. So then cross it off the list for good, okay? Or if you can delegate it to someone, sometimes now it might be time to up the game and hire a coach or hire a, a PR person or hire a new teacher or hire... Um, a virtual assistant or something to get the work done if you still value it and it's not in your area of expertise or you don't know how to do it. Sometimes it's much better to delegate it, okay? So pick one tiny five to 10 minute action on your to-do list to complete within the next 24 hours. Something that's easy, something that will make you feel good when you did it, okay? And then write it down. You can even put it in the notes, in the comment section here if you want to. But if not, at least just write it down in a notebook. Okay, next one, gratitude. Ah, oh, so important, so important. One thing that's great about this year is it usually, oh, this time of year, is it usually does bring out the best in people, usually. <laughs> and gratitude is such a part of that, of just being like, wow, Whew. just taking a breather, right? and saying, I'm grateful, I'm alive, I'm here, I, get, I got another year on this planet. Giving back too. When you give back and when you show gratitude, then you get value out of just that, okay? You, by helping other people, it helps. So having a gratitude journal, I know it sounds hippy-dippy for a lot of you, 
But I tell you, there's science behind it. There really is. If you have a little notebook beside your bed at night and you just write down like five things that you're grateful for that day, right before you go to sleep and right when you wake up, that can make a difference on how you sleep and it makes the difference of your entire day if you wake up with gratitude as opposed to, oh God, I got to turn off the alarm clock. Oh, I got to rush to work. I got to whatever it is. Okay. If you end with gratitude every day and you start with gratitude every day, your whole world can change. Okay. So you may not even believe it right now. Who cares if you believe it or not? If you just do the action, again, this, this video is about action. If you just write it down, it can subconsciously seep into your brain. <laughs> so again, it's about taking the action, not about justifying why it can or can't work. Okay. And building those habits are everything. When you look at what am I grateful for? It doesn't have to be a big thing either. The big things, of course, family, friends, of course. But let's just say you're in a bad mood or a bad place in your life and you can't see anything to be grateful for. There's a lot of people that cannot be feel like they can be grateful for things. Well, then make something up. Say when I'm, I'm looking at my water bottle right now, I'm very grateful for clean, cool drinking water that I don't have to walk six miles a day to a dirty well to get that water. I'm truly grateful for that. And millions of people in the world don't have that. Millions, not just a couple people, millions. <laughs> okay, so that I'm grateful for every day. It might be as simple as putting, you have a, a pillow to put your head on at the end of the night. That is something to be grateful for. Okay, so little, little, little things are just fine. Um, and then obviously the big things help too. So helping your family and friends during the holidays, absolutely, or strangers, you know, whatever, this is the time of year for that. It should be all times a year, but but realistically, this is the time of the year that the our general population does that, right? So... Also, if you need support on that, there are so many videos out on, on the web. There are so many books. There are so many classes. So studying gratitude and making it a part of your regular life so that that is the default of where your brain goes will make you so much stronger and so much happier, so much happier. Okay, it's the people who aren't happy because they're looking at all the things that are wrong, not all of the things that are right. Okay, and everything could always get worse. <laughs> so even if life seems really bad for you out there and you feel like there's nowhere to turn, look at the little, little things. Okay, um, donations and volunteer. This is, of course, for the holidays, this is a great time to donate, a great time to volunteer a great time to um, even just get rid of stuff, you know, donate to a charity or whatever. Um, this is a great time for that. And it will also help you start the year off on the right foot. So write down five things that you're grateful for every night. That's your action. All right. Um, next, uh, action number five, finances. <laughs> No one wants to talk about finances. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> finances are a tough subject, but guess what? Finances are really one of the main reasons why actors struggle. It's not necessarily about just insecurity or not booking work or whatever. All of that becomes a lot easier if you have a roof over your head and your bills are paid, right? So most actors who quit acting at the end of the day it's because they just get exhausted about the struggle of the finances so this is one of the most important things that you can study to improve the quality of your life and to improve the enjoyment of your career um so what we want to do yeah this is the time of year where you know after december 31st you have you can do all you prep all your taxes you can start it now if you haven't already so getting your receipts together and all that so that when it comes time to meet with your tax dude, it's uh, it, it, you don't have to wait and to do it all the night before. 
Um, Keeping track of the expenses, too, can also help you set your goals for the new year. So something to be done. Um, Studying wealth and abundance. Okay, you don't need money right now to even do that. There are endless, endless videos just on YouTube alone that help you with wealth and abundance and mindset stuff. So making that a priority, it might only be five minutes a day, 10 minutes a day, whatever, but let's just make that a priority for your new year and start getting connected to it now during the holidays. Um. I recommend 10% savings and 10% uh, goes to your acting biz and acting education. So I know that the, sometimes that feels impossible when you're struggling, but uh, where there's a will, there's a way, truly. When I first got to town, I bartered like crazy. You know, I, I got so many free acting classes because I would be someone's assistant or be a reader for a casting director or whatever. There's so many ways to still contribute to your acting business and stay getting educated and learning new things all the time. Very important. But I do want you to have just an automated kind of situation where, okay, if you get a paycheck, if, you, if you're if you working, I don't care, let's say you're waiting tables, um, or whatever, you you put 10% of that away that you don't even look at it and know that that goes towards your acting business and then 10% goes to where you don't even see it. Ideally, it goes to account you don't even look at. And no, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a tax person. Um, this is just what I've studied for a long time and I think it's overlooked by most actors. So please do that for yourself this year. Um, and putting money into a financial freedom account. I learned that from a dude, some of you may know, T. Harv Ecker. He's the millionaire mind guy. Um, he has people get jars, which I know it sounds pretty simplistic, but sometimes it's the simplest things that work the best. So you have a jar, and let's say you empty your wallet out that day. You went to the grocery store and you have 13 cents. <laughs> Uh, leftover that's just floating around in your wallet or purse. Well, you just throw it into this jar and you and you say, um, I contribute to my financial freedom fund every day. And that's it. That's all you do. Uh, it gets you in the habit of putting something in that jar every single day. It, whether it's a penny or a dollar, doesn't matter. Whether it's $20, doesn't matter. It's, it's the habit that matters. Okay. Some of you might like that. So I thought I'd add that. And then I'd really love for you guys, when we're talking about finances, I think every actor should have some kind of side job, um, meaning a, a job, a side biz that you are the boss. So it's getting easier and better <laughs> by every, every moment, every day, there's new things on the internet. So if you're at a horrible job that you hate, that you're only there because you are doing it to pay for your acting career in your life, I would suggest let's add an extra element this new year where you look for something that you can do on the side that you can start building up so it's really yours. So unless you're making full-time actor money, that that's a great thing to have as just multiple streams of income. You know, so it's not all your baskets aren't, uh, all your eggs aren't in one basket. <laughs> um, because then you become really afraid to leave that job for an acting job instead, or why you're here in the first place, why you're acting in the first place. Um, so start thinking about what are some side talents that you might be able to use, or what is some online business that you could do straight from home. Um, and again, multiple streams of income. So you don't want all your income coming from just one source, unless you're a series regular on a TV show, then that's fine. <laughs> but even, even superstars and even people that are series regulars, most of them, if you actually really look at it, they're also selling something on the side or they, um, they also do real estate, you know, or have, or maybe they don't or they're not in the real estate business, but they have a couple properties that they rent out or whatever. 
most of the time you want to build that up so you have multiple streams of income, okay? And I know it's not fun to talk about, so I know I'm losing some of you right now, but take some time because it's one of the biggest things that you can do to improve your acting career is by getting serious about money, okay? Money and success are learnable skills. They're learnable skills. It's not about luck. Why? Because even the people who win the lottery, what is it, 70, 75% of them lose it all. They lose it all. So having money and, and being secure is not about luck. Um, it's about what you do with what you have and how to make more and how to use it wisely and how to have passive streams of income and all that. So I want you to take some time and start weaving that into your life if it's not a part of your life already. Um, what you can do now, action-wise, is you could pick a jar, <laughs> pick a financial freedom container, which I know it sounds silly, but, and put one penny into it if you don't have any money right now. Um, but just get that started and then get, if you don't have it, get a second account at the bank, a savings account or a checking account that you don't touch, that you don't even know the number. You'd have to look it up or you'd have to go to the bank or whatever and do direct deposit. That's one of the best pieces of advice I can give you on that. Okay. And again, disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor at all. I'm just telling you what I've learned over the years. Okay. Um, actor action six, release and downtime. <sighs> Doesn't that sound great? Let's take some relaxing. And I love this picture because it looks so still and so peaceful and it makes you want to take a nap <laughs> with a blanket, of course, but, um, yeah, it looks also freezing, but relaxing. And this is probably if you're in LA or New York, um, or one of the bigger markets, this is kind of the only time of year that I feel like the industry thinks it's truly acceptable to take a vacation. Um, because most things are shut down from like the week of Christmas and the week after Christmas. So this is the time. If you're going to take a break, take it now. <laughs> take it during the holidays. Um, and definitely schedule it. Make it purposeful, not accidental. Okay? Um, being peaceful and present with family, friends, all of that. When you release, when I'm talking about release, this is a good time of year to release any anger that you have towards people or to yourself. Um, material things that you don't enjoy or you don't use anymore. It's a great time to donate to charities and release them out into the world so somebody else can use them. Um, just getting rid of clutter and having a cleaner closet and a more organized home is going to help your acting career. You know, it doesn't seem like it always, but it, but it definitely does. Um, release the need to struggle. Release the anxiety. Release getting all of that inner actor turmoil that is so easy to have, okay? Know that it, to a certain extent, it really is a choice. Choose So choose happiness, choose peace, choose abundance. And let's just decide that we're not going to, in the new year, let the small things get to us, okay? Um, if you walk into an audition and you have all kinds of inner drama going on, it's, um, it's really hard to do a good audition, okay? So this is not something, you don't need 20 years of inner turmoil. This is stuff that you can learn to release, okay? So for the downtime and release, I want you to choose some time to completely unplug from the internet and to disconnect from your career. Uh, just, you know, just for a couple days at least. A week if you can. <laughs> but definitely uh, you come back fresh and like a new person. Okay. Uh, number seven action is building up your why. Why? Your why? Why do you want to be an actor? Why? 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 That's important to know and a lot of people don't necessarily know 
So think about it. If someone asked you right now in an interview on, let's say Oprah interviewed you, okay, millions of people are watching and they say, why did you want to be an actor? I want you to have a real answer for that. That's, that's authentic and true to you. Why? Sometimes people are doing it for the wrong reason. You know, sometimes they want fame, <laughs> which is horrible. <laughs> Why would you want fame, you know, other than the, the additional options it can give? You know, you can have more choices when you're famous on projects. That's a great reason to want fame. But there's a lot of downside to it, too. So why do you want to be an actor? So you want your why. It needs to be so much stronger than your obstacles. And it's different for everybody. So I would suggest that you make a list. So it was it your lifelong dream? Uh, will it help support your family? Are you doing what you love? Is it the camaraderie of being an actor? Do you love that feeling backstage? I love that feeling. There's no other feeling that quite is like that feeling of being backstage before you're about to go on. Nobody can really bottle that, you know? Um, challenge, the challenge of being an actor, both business and craft. The, the accomplishment of when you say you set out, can set out to do something and that you actually do it. The excitement. What a great career, right? What a wonderful life. <laughs> um, making a difference to others. Maybe this is where your talent lies and you're not going to, you know, you don't have, I actually have a client that's a scientist, but let's say you don't have a scientist's brain. You're not going to cure cancer or something. Well, guess what? Maybe you can make people laugh and that's how you make a difference in the world. Maybe you can make them think. Maybe you can make them cry. Whatever. Maybe that's how you're making a difference. Um, the laughter in the audience Boy, is that a bit of an actor drug, right? It's exciting when you hear them laughing at what you're doing, when it's on purpose at least, <laughs> um, and leaving a legacy, right? We're still watching movies that were made 100 years ago. That's an amazing thing. So we can live beyond our time here by being an actor. So build up your why so that it's so strong that when little tiny obstacles like, oh, I had a bad audition come up, it's no big deal, okay? Sometimes we're so scared of being hurt or so scared of, oh, I don't want my feelings to feel yucky. So what? Embrace it. Embrace it and move on. Um, but you get what I'm saying here is you have this whole list of why. If your list is really strong and really powerful and your why is gigantic, then when you have a bad day, it's like no big deal. When you have a bad audition, when you have a flat tire, when somebody says something you don't like, whatever, you can move on because you're stronger than that. Okay, so build up your why. So write why you decided to be an actor in the first place and what you love about it. That's your action. And if you want, you can even write it below, okay? Actor action number eight for the holidays is ask Santa. <laughs> um, so what does that mean? So if you have a person in your life that you know for the holidays you're going to get a gift from, okay, first of all, that might be something to be grateful for then. If you have someone that you know you're going to get a gift from and that you're going to give a gift to, okay, not everybody has that. But if you do, then... I would suggest that you specifically ask for career stuff, okay? That could be coaching, that could be a self-tape kit, that could be new pictures, that could be PR, that could be money, that could be gift cards, voiceover equipment, classes, training programs. You want to use this time. It's, it's a, such a strange thing during the holidays when you give and get gifts that you don't need or want, right? That's a weird dynamic. So if you have people in your life that you know are going to give you something, why not ask for something that you would actually use for your career? Okay. And write one item down. 
Um, and guess what, you guys? Sometimes you might have to play Santa for yourself, and that's okay, too. That's okay, too. But if you're going to get a gift, let's have it be something that's not frivolous that you're going to forget in a week. Maybe it, it could be something to invest in your future and your career. Okay? Actor action number nine for the holidays, goal setting. Now, I'm not talking about the standard New Year's resolutions. Uh, I, I like this picture because it says, number one resolution, quit making New Year's resolutions because hardly anybody ever follows them. And by January 2nd, usually they're done, right? So this is not about what we think of as New Year's resolutions. This is about taking action and setting goals that make sense, that, that you find power behind and that you're actually going to do okay you want to work in reverse when you goal set so if you have like a 90 day goal then you say okay if i'm going to let's say a six month goal you're going to get your first agent or a new agent well then we work backwards from there and say okay if i'm going to have that in six months where do i have to be in 90 days where do I have to be in 30 days? Where do I have to be in the next seven days? And then what action do I have to take today to get that rep in six months? Get what I'm saying? Okay. Another strategy for goal setting is you got to put stuff on the calendar. It doesn't exist unless it's on the calendar. So I want you to review last year's goals and again, see if you, if they, what you completed what you can delegate, what you can discard. Um, Because sometimes your goals change too. So maybe they're not as important to you anymore. But I want you to make goals also based on you and not other people. So sometimes actors decide that they want to do commercials because they think it's going to be easy. Oh, I'm just going to do commercials to pay the bills. You know, you hear that a lot. And like they're just handing out commercials. <laughs> no, the commercial business is a whole other business. So if that's not where your passion lies and that's not what you really want, then don't do it unless it just happens to land in your lap. Of course, if you get an audition, you go to the audition. But I want you to set goals that really have heat behind them, that really make you excited and that are a little scary, okay? You don't have to, you don't want to base your goals based on what you know how to do. Okay? Setting those goals are based on what where you want to go. And then you work backwards and figure out how to do it. Okay? So, the action is write down one new career goal for the new year that you have 100% control over. Wow, isn't that interesting? 100% control over. What does that even mean? That means, yeah, getting representation, it's okay. It's an okay goal. It's more of a milestone, really. But I don't love it as a goal too much at times because there are other factors. Like the agent that you want has to agree that they want to work with you. So when I say have 100% control, say I'd like you to pick a goal that you can make actions and then check them off your list. Meaning, let's just say you want to get an agent in six months. Well, your goal might be contact 50 new targeted ideal rep um, agent offices in the next six months. And then you break it down. So like, okay, if I have to do that many, maybe I'll start with the first five this week. Does that make sense? Okay. And your goal should be outside of your comfort zone and have the potential to really help. It's not just about doing busy work. I don't want you doing busy work. Um, it's about making your, your dreams happen. So that's what we want to base your goals after too. All right. Next, number 10. Plan your daily actor actions. So once you have some of your goals in mind for this new year, you have to put it into bite-sized bits, little baby steps. So taking your actor's act actor actions, um, 
think about how what you want your daily life to look like to make those goals happen. So does that mean that you wake up and you drink water first thing so you're not dehydrated? Does that mean you have your gra- gratitude journal or a healthy smoothie? Um, does that mean that you knock out your hardest action first, first thing in the day? That's a big thing. That's a real success clue for successful people, billionaires, millionaires, is that if you have five things on your to-do list or a hundred things on your to-do list, do the thing that's the hardest first thing in the morning, get it out of the way, okay? Um, Not looking at phone, email, text, social until like 10 a.m. Maybe that's gonna be a new action for you, a new goal, uh, a new habit, really. Um, Maybe you're gonna start doing social media consistently. Maybe you are going to do daily education on your career, whether it's mindset, business, money, um, how-tos, whatever. But that can be a new habit. And again, with we're so lucky, you guys. As actors, there's an, an endless wealth of information now on, on the computers that weren't there a million years, you know, even five years ago, 10 years ago. Um, taking breaks at specific times. If you're a bit of a workaholic, like someone I know, um, I will schedule times to just get up from my desk and go and walk for five minutes because otherwise I would just sit there and work, you know? Um, So sometimes that can be an action that you have to incorporate into your daily schedule. Uh, Making phone calls, making, creating content for yourself, whatever. It's different for everybody. So really take some stock in what you want this new year to look like. Okay. Um, so write down one non-negotiable new habit that you're going to add to your daily actor actions. And if you feel inspired, you can also write it in the comments below. All right, 11, the theme of the year. It's so nice. I, this is something that I learned like 20 years ago, where if you give a theme to your year, then all kinds of things will lead towards that happening. Meaning, I've heard of things like the year of yes. Right now, if you're saying no to a lot of things, maybe that needs to change and you start saying yes to all kinds of jobs or all kinds of, of course, not things that you don't agree with or whatever, but saying yes to new opportunities, yes to doing some fun things that you wouldn't normally do, yes to whatever that means to you, whatever you need more of. Um, It could also be the year of no. (laughs) That has so much power in it. Once I started saying no to commercials or no to um, doing things that, like going to events that I didn't wanna go to anymore, all of a sudden, my calendar opened up to do other strategic things that I wouldn't have had the time for. So maybe it's, this is the year of no for you. Hearing no and saying no. Hearing no, because that means you're really putting yourself out there. Uh, If you're not having any kind of what we think of as rejection, then guess what? It's gonna be one of those things where you can't grow that hard, that fast if you are not hearing no. So maybe you need more of that. Um, The year of abundance, the year of health, the year of success, the year of fun, the year of taking action. Of course, I, as you know, I love the words action. So taking action, I'm really digging that one. Um, The year of being your own hero. Here's another idea. So many actors are waiting for something waiting for that role to come around, waiting for that representation that's the dream, right? But what that is, is that that is giving away your power. That is saying that, oh, I could be successful if only someone else did that part of the work for me, where sometimes you can do that part of the work even better. I'm not saying to not have an agent or manager, but what I want everyone to do is to let go of 
the feeling that they're going to save you or they're going to make your career happen because that's up to us. That is up to you. If you want to be a professional working out actor, it's up to you. And then the agent is just one tiny piece of that puzzle. Okay. The year of getting out of your comfort zone. This is everything. This is everything. Uh, Spielberg isn't going to walk into your living room. Okay. You need to go out side of your comfort zone because that's where the goodies lie okay that's where the goodies are in your career so write down one theme that you feel connected to you and we could do you know a lot of work on just that but I'd like to you to give a theme to your year and then you can print it out you can look at it every day you can write it on things you can focus your classes around that you can focus everything around it Okay. Um, all right. And accountability. Actor action number 12. So uh, all of this work, you guys, right? I know it's overwhelming. Everyone needs support. So getting accountability is so valuable. And that comes in so many different forms, but we can't do it all al- all alone, right? You can't make a movie all by yourself. There has to be other people involved, pretty much. You can't do anything of value by just being every single piece of the puzzle. There needs to be other people and accountability. So what that might look like is joining groups. That might be getting an accountability partner. That might be getting a coach. That might be getting classes and teachers. That might be, yeah, it might be getting representation that uh, support you and help you. Um, That might be getting, structuring deadlines for your career that where you don't have an out. (laughs) Uh, Like the 48 hour films or running a marathon or just setting appointments on the calendar so that then you know, oh, I've got to show up for that, whatever that is. Okay, setting deadlines is so important. And then putting it on the calendar. I talk about this all the time, you guys. Put if you're if you look at your calendar right now and it is not full, you know, it doesn't have to be full every second, but if it's not purposeful and full with things that are going to help you with your dreams and your career, then you need to start putting more stuff on the calendar that's going to get you in the right direction and getting accountability, okay? So reach out and get help. Um, You know, I'll put a little link underneath this video too. So one thing that you can do to help you with accountability is basically uh, getting on our free actor list. That's one form of doing that, and it only takes two seconds. And then also just writing down, what are you gonna schedule? How are you going to schedule to have support in your career and in your life? You have to schedule it. It's not going to manifest just by thinking about it. You have to go after it. You have to put it on the calendar. Okay. And I want you to schedule your success. Um, One other way is, I know this sounds, uh, you always hear this on YouTube videos, but please just subscribe because then you have an automatic thing that that is built in. It takes a half a second and then you get notified when new videos come up that will help with your accountability and will help you with motivation and support and everything. These are ways to add up different ways to get help in your career, okay? And like I said, I'll put that list below too. So I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot, my friends. Um, I just wanted to give this to you as a little holiday gift video. So you have some plans on how to use the holiday time to help your career. And these are just 12 suggestions, just because we're going with the theme of the 12 days of Christmas. But there are so many more. But let's start with these 12, okay? (laughs) So getting support, getting help, um, having some downtime, looking over your goals, your daily actor actions, giving back, 
deleting things that you don't need out of your life and your career, all of that helps. And then we are going to hit the new year. Gosh, it's amazing. It's coming up. It comes up fast. And I swear this past year was the fastest ever, right? (laughs) So when you do these actions, you're going to be able to start your new year feeling good about it and feeling refreshed and feeling ready to tackle this world of acting. So I wish you the best. Uh, Happy holidays from me. Happy holidays from Actor Transformation. And thank you so much for this wonderful year we had and for letting me be a part of your actor journey. I don't take that lightly and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. 